I do believe... What's wrong with Yuga, dude? Oh, he's just drunk. I do believe there's going to be another fight tutorial, I think. Let's see what's going to happen. Probably going to be attacked again. Because that's always fun. Everything looks good. No, no, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Oh, there's another Mr. Shakedown. Leave me alone. Don't want to fight right now. I don't wanna. Oopsie. Sorry. Oh, something's happening. You think this is a joke, pal? Hmm? What's that guy on about? Sounded pretty pissed. There's a fight going on down there. Let's shake it out. Majimakun. What kind of ass clown goes on a raid with a big honking sword like this, you moron? Don't you get any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons? You can't see the appeal of Chinese broadsword? This is why I was hesitant to sell to you. You're making this about me? Awful cocky for a two-bit black market front. Full point of business is giving your clans what they want. Sounds like an arms deal. This isn't something I want to get involved with. I deal only with clients I respect. If you would prove that you're worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Oh. Test? The hell you on about now? You and I will spar. Defeat me and you pass. I'm getting real tired of a high and mighty talk. Fine. You wanna fight? I'll take you. See how I like your, pre your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. Yeah. Indeed. That's the point. This is a test of a proficiency with a weapon. Ha! I ain't gonna feel... I ain't gonna feel sorry when you lose an arm or if I straight up end you. Okay. Do I really have to see that? Oh, sheesh! Whoa! Okay, that was badass. Awesome. We learned new moves. The hell are those moves with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever seen, but it's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch. You fail. Oh. Yeah, well, what'd you expect? Giving me a shit sword like this. That staff you got is way is a way better weapon. This is merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold, on the other hand, is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. What? But apparently you were unfit to wield it. I would ask that you do not return to my shop again. To hell with your damn shop. I hope it burns with you in it. Rumors said you were the dealer to beat, so I went to the bother of tracking you down and for what? You fraud. Bye bye. Shit. I've just been staring. Don't want to get dragged into somebody else's dirty dealing. I'm out of here. Oh, it's Komeki! I recognize those boots. Bones. Ah, Majima. Curious meeting you here. Oh, it's you. Don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about, in search of a place where the two of us could spar uninterrupted. That's so? Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment, a real nasty customer at that. His name is Fai Hu, a local arms dealer. Quite the master himself too, so long as the weapon rests within his hands. Huh? What, you know that guy? I knew his father for ages, back when he walked this earth. Checking in on him was half my reason for coming to Sotembori. Dot, dot, dot. As long as we all are here, why don't I introduce you? Hey, I didn't ask for any favors. 
Oh, don't be so stubborn. This will be good for the both of you. How do you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off has long passed. It seems Fai Hu has been aware of your presence from the start. What? Apologi apologies, Kumeki-san, but I do not trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. Now don't you go being stubborn on me too. Delay no longer and put him to the test. I can tell you already, this young man will most certainly pass. Say what? Dot dot dot. Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, 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 Majima. I saw that look on your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. Dot dot dot. And now your silence speaks volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Yeah. Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration, just a few dumb thoughts rattling around. Yes, but what if they were enough to match Fai Hu's skill? They would be less dumb, straight thoughts and more akin to a full-blown revelation. Dot dot dot. Whether you give that revelation life or snuff it out is your choice. Care to at least give it a try? <laughs> Listen, I've had a long ass day and I'm tired as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objections, Fai Hu? If you recommend him so strongly, very well. It is settled then. Now, what it will be? The man is an arms dealer. He can produce you for you he can produce for you most anything you might want. Some nunchucks would be awesome. Hmm, nah, I'm good with that beat up beat up old bat over there. Huh? A baseball bat? Really a baseball bat? It's not fancy at all. Doggy! There's a doggy! Haha, uh -huh. this should be quite an entertaining match. I wonder what it says on the doghouse, hang on. Ko... Kotaru... Something something. Kotaru... Ko... Something like that. And the dog is straight up putting his asshole into the camera. I love it. Steady now. Begin! Hang on, where's my weapon? Where's my freaking weapon? Oh, switch to slugger style. Okay. Oh, sweet. Try mastering the strong defensive potential that a bat offers. When you guard using a weapon, you are less likely to be staggered by an attack. Oh, okay. Hold LB to guard. Yeah, I know that already. Thank you. Hmm, that's kind of easy. Okay. Use Slugger Style to defeat Fai Hu and pass the test. Oh, that's all? Okay. Ow. And guard. Fuck you! That was nice. Oh, the dog is back. I certainly didn't expect you to use a bat so well. You're quite an interesting fellow. Just remembered using one back when I was running raids on the competition. Think I've improved since then, though. Surprised me, too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think a spur-of-the-moment selection like that would get you far against Fai Hu. Shows what I know. So, uh, Fai Hu, right? What do you think of my bad work? You passed with flying colors, of course. You're precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapon shop, you mean? That's nice of you to offer, but as you've seen, I ain't really interested in the conventional stuff. Eh, so much the better. I'm not a common dealer pawing off weapons I've scavenged. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what it is we do. Okay. More stuff to do, that's nice. Hi. This is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. <gasps> you have bat soup? I could kill for a bat soup right now. Yeah? This is my wife, Long Hua. Mm. New customer, yes? Many happy returns. And you said it wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it then? Hi. 
Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So you ain't an arms trader, you're a smith, is what you're saying. Precisely. Now, if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. Okay. At the Dragon Tiger, you can list a host of agents to local weapons, gear and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three categories. Gear, recipes, parts. Put the agent skill to use and gather the world's most powerful weaponry and equipment at your fingertips. Cool. So you send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such. That is pretty different. Your, our goal in all this is to develop a robust network with arms dealers the world over, but some agents work takes them far from civilization. So basically, you got these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit. I'm all about that, actually. Indeed, remote archaeological sites produce some of the most beautifully wrought and historically important weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. I'm surprised I got that out without problems. Sheesh. Furthermore, customers whose contributions pass a certain level are given a special reward. Private arms lessons. Yeah? So I'm guessing that means you were holding back when we fought out there. Naturally, that was only a test. Ha, <laughs> you're one slippery eel. Ah, speaking of fish, I just, just remembered I ain't ate yet. I'm half starved to death here. You said this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me the house special, would ya? Hi, you customer for that side of business too. You wait, I fix you a feast. Mmm, delicious bad soup. Funny. I know, I'm such a funny guy. Well, thanks Komeki, that was fun. I guess. Majima, there's a favor I would ask of you. How naked do I have to be? I don't need to tell you, you know, tell you not to spread word of the business, but I'd also ask you to keep vigil over them. Why is that? The happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in time, the shop may draw the ire of a terrible foe. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask only that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps buy something, send them out on a search, that sort of thing. Yeah, alright. I'm headed into the wilderness to train. Don't go letting the edge of your... <laughs> Don't go letting that edge of yours doll either. Okay. Bye, I guess. Woohoo! I don't know what's up next. I guess we're just gonna head... The fuck? Hmm, what's that girl doing by herself? She lost. Oh, that's the doll girl substory. Uh, if you want to know how that one goes, guess you have to check out my walkthroughs. Ha 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 ha. God damn it, leave me alone! Hmm, what am I going to do? Oh, what to do? You! That's another sub story. Leave me alone! Excuse me! Huh? Uh, um. Well, the thing is. You want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Uh, yes, what I'm trying to say is. Uh. Um. Listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I. I have a favor to ask. Can you. Please be my boyfriend? What the fuck? <sighs> dot dot dot. Say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please? Pretty please? What? Just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean like you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. B boyfriend? Right, uh, okay. Back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street demanding to be her man? Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. I've gotta get it together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer, like... Don't even think you've won, little lady. I don't wanna do this side quest, leave me alone! Got an interest in women, there we go. Just leave me alone. Sorry, darling. 
I got no interest in women. Uh, uh, okay, I mean, that's not a problem at all. But if you don't mind, could you set aside the prefaces and just be my boyfriend for the... I don't want to do the side quest! Leave me alone! <laughs> what you talking about, girlie? Uh, oh, darn it. I've left out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend. Not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? Pretend? Hi. Yes, you see, my father is visiting from back home and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is Finn, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail and has a dangerous air about him, kinda like the blade of a knife. Why would you give him so many details? Why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kinda made it up as I went. But then Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. Wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody else looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? I'm busy, I wanna head home. Leave me alone. Sorry, I'm busy. You painted yourself into this corner. I'm taking a pass. Find yourself another actor lady. Uh, you're right. Who in their right mind would accept a ridiculous request like this? I'm sorry I wasted your time. I keep looking for someone who fits my boyfriend's description. Sorry. Okay, a thin man who wears an eye patch and a cool ponytail and has dangerous hair like the blade of a knife. I just need to find someone else like that. Dot dot dot. <sighs> Again, if you want to know how that one plays out, check out my walkthroughs. I just wanna go home. Just let me go home, please. No, don't attack me. Don't attack me. No, don't catch me. You cannot catch me. I'm too fast. I'm fast like a cheetah. What now? Oh, do you know my, my name? Who are you? Huh? I don't know. Odyssey no moon yat te yutara. Kokuru atari aru yaru. Odyssey? Nozomi no hiki nuki nara. Yamagata to hana shatsu i toru de. Si hai nin ga nattok shite mo. Ore ra ga nattok suru ka! Uri ni yotte uchi no number one o hiki nuki ta. Don't do something you regret, dude. Oh no, I'm in big trouble now. Anta, o kyaku sama wa kami sama ya yute, kyaku ni doge sama de suru rashi ya nai ka. Yoru no teo ka nan ka shiran ga, nasake nai hanashi ya de. Sonna ni kane ga hoshi ka. You're making fun of me, dude. You're gonna regret it. Kyaku ni wa tsuyo shite mo. オレラにドゲザ通用せんで。ま、試しにやってみてもええけどな。ファミ。お前らの言う通り。あ。お客様は神様。うちの水に来た客になら土下座でもするし、靴でも舐めたるわ。せやけど。客やないなら話は別。<
Fuck him up! <laughs> Dang it. Ow. Get up. Ow. Oh, that reminds me, I should have upgraded. I'm not gonna do that in the next episode, I guess. Bye bye. Ouch. Ouch. I wanna, wanna feed you. Fuck you up. Ow. Ow. Ah. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> that was fun. I'm not the monster, I'm the Rue. You are the one who wants to be a guy. If you want to be a guy, you can do whatever you want. I like it. But... How will it be after that? The customer is... Doesn't Kami-sama mean God? I think. I think Kami means God. Well, King, God. Could be the same. Oh, that was fun. Guess we're back home. These are Majima's digs. Oh, cutscene time. Sweet. Almost looks exactly like Skiryu's apartment. Really fucked up that sentence. That's right. It didn't have the smoke in a long time. Are you watching me? Oh, uh, he looks mean. <sighs> really? Are you guys watching me? It's him again. I remember you. Yeah, I'm smoking again. So what? Not your bro. What's going on? <gasps> we killed the chapter! Yay!